Good morning. Oh, oh, it's morning already. Good God. Are you working here all night? Well, I had to catch up on a few things. So... Why you... Don't mind me. I won't be long. Oh. I'm sorry, your name slips my mind. Oh, Finch, sir. Pierpont Finch. Ah, uh, Finch. I've heard some good things about you from my scouts. Oh, thank you, sir. Well, Finch, it's good to see a man in here carrying the ball and all that. You actually make me feel a bit guilty. I just came to pick up my clubs. I'm playing around with Wally Whopper today. He's chairman of the board, you know. Oh, I suppose a man has to do that sort of thing once in a while. Now, don't work yourself too hard, Finch. There are limits, you know. Don't sir, worry, sir. I won't. Well, I just get my clubs. What's that you're humming? Oh, I didn't realize I was humming, sir. You were humming the old Ivy fight song, weren't you? <laughs> well, I guess it wasn't conscious on my part. Did you go then? Where you from, Doug? Oh, well, sir. Oh, come out with it, boy. I know a lot of people have an inferiority complex because they didn't go to Yale or Princeton. But you're not ashamed of old Ivy, are you, boy? No, sir, not a bit. That's the groundhog spirit. I should have known you were old Ivy. What year were you? Finch, what year did you graduate? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I was thinking about the big game today. We're playing the chipmunks. Ah, uh, yes. I can't make it up there either, but I hope those damn chipmunks don't give us too much trouble. Oh, I should. I think we'll pull through. Chinaski's knee is much better. Ah, uh, with Chinaski in the game, the team's Ross should pick right up. He's the dirtiest player we've got. Well, even though we're not going to be there in person, we'll be rooting for them, right? Right! Groundhog! Groundhog! Last row. This may look silly, but I find that um, knitting helps me think more clearly. Well, I'll be damned. I knit too. You do? Been doing it for years. No one knows but my secretary, Miss Jones. Do you know her? Oh, I've met her a couple of times. And... What's this going to be? Oh, I was thinking of making it a a, a birdcage cover. <laughs> birdcage cover. Well, I've never made one of those, but what do you think of this? 
Oh, that's beautiful, beautiful, sir. I made the covers for those golf clubs too there, see? Popcorn stitch. <laughs> you know, Mr. Bickley, I feel bad for men who don't they? They live empty lives. I like the way you finch, Fink. Think Finch. Think Finch, right. Tell me. It's a bright young man like you piney for a while here. Someone like you was not at all figured out. Well, if I ever reach a position where I have a choice, I'd like to go do something real, something where a man can dig his teeth into a, something down to earth, the, the, the advertising department. Advertising? Son, I wouldn't want that for any schoolmate of mine. It's too risky, too insecure. Why, this place has seen 15 new advertising managers in the past year alone. Poor blokes who drop it right about once a month. Why is that? I fire them. Well, if there's a man with ideas, I think he could swing it. Ideas, that's what I look for. I'm supposed to keep on hiring men that have ideas, but no one will ever do what I tell them. No, you stay where you are, boy. Damn good department. By the way, where are we? Uh, of plans and systems. Mr. Gatch's department. Ah, Gatch. Right. He's a good man, he knows what he's doing. Stay with him and I'll keep my eye on you too. Have a good day, sir. Uh, I have to get this work done before midnight. Midnight? That's the groundhog spirit. Groundhog! Groundhog!